Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I have the Highland Park 10 year old. Ball at 40% ABV. This is the first time I think I've had a 40% whiskey since I did the Johnny Walker review like over a year ago. Let's see how it is when I notice it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, the Highland Park 10 year old on the nose. So, some fresh fruit in here, like a fresh cut apple. Um, some floralness to this. It's very light, very approachable, kind of perfumey. And yeah, you get that Highland Park styled heathered kind of peat. I'd say maybe a little bit more than you get in other expressions, like maybe a little bit more than a 12. But yeah, nice light, good balance to this, very approachable, obviously the 40% ABV. So uh, go palette. Really nice on the palate. I get tons of chocolate aspect to this. So I get milk chocolate. I get like chocolate milk. Um, on the finish, I get, you know, like a chocolate, like wafer kind of cookie to it. Um, really interesting chocolate notes in this. Doesn't specify the maturation. I couldn't find if it's Refill Sherry, um, Ex-Bourbon, I would assume there's a combination of both those things. Maybe some Refill Sherry casts, some Ex-Bourbon casts mixed in there. Um, but definitely that like chocolate aspect to it, I would assume is coming from uh, a Sherry cask. Really interesting whiskey. Um, that floral kind of um, peat, uh, heathered kind of peat, it shows up big time on the finish. I'd say more peat influence on this um, than the 12 year old. Definitely crank up that peat just a little bit more. Maybe the younger, younger age has something to do with that. You know, peat uh, thins out over time. But yeah, I do like this one a lot. Um, I tried this one way back when I first started getting into whiskey and really liked it. I liked it because it had a little more smokiness to it. This is the first time I've been back to it probably in five years, I'd say. A little bit different than how I remember it. The, the peat level is still there, but those chocolate notes, um, more, more so pronounced than I ever remember before. Maybe a little more sherry influence, who knows. Um, score eyes for me on this one. I like this whiskey a lot. I do like it. This is like a great light, start your night off, maybe like a springtime, summertime dram. Um, I'm giving it 85 out of 100. I do like this whiskey quite a bit. Um, value, this was a gift from Laura. She's the uh, brand manager at Beam Centauri. I reached out to her and asked if she had uh, one available for me to review, just because I wanted to go back, I wanted to try this thing again, because um, my first memory of it was I really did like it, and uh, I do really like this expression a lot. When Highland Park's got a whole bunch of expressions coming out, you know, it can be kind of overwhelming. They have so much stuff, so many NAS whiskeys, if you look at their travel retail, it's a huge selection of things. It's nice to just go back to old classic 10 year old. Um, so no value points on this. I only add value when I purchase the bottle myself, but thank you very much, Laura, for, for providing this. Um, not available in the US market for whatever reason. I think it's just UK, maybe other parts of the world, Canada, but I don't think it, they bring it into the US. Kind of unfortunate. Um, because I know that uh, Highland Park fans down there would, would like to try this one out for sure. Price-wise, I think it's MSRP 30 pounds, which is a very respectable score. I'd definitely pay that. Here in Ontario, they want 63, $65 for it. It's priced pretty much the same as it is the 12 year old here. Maybe it's like a two bucks less, which I kind of find interesting considering it's 40% ABV, not 43 and two years younger. You would think the price point would be more in line with the MSRP of 30 pounds. 30 pounds is about 50 Canadian dollars, give or take, maybe 50, 53. Um, so yeah, maybe a little bit overpriced here in Ontario um, because you'd always just buy the 12 for a couple bucks more, getting two more years, three more percent ABV. But you know what? I think I would score this pretty much the exact same as I'd score the 12. I like them about the same. You get a little bit different aspect with this one. So it's a good change up. Um, let me know what you think. Have you ever had the Highland Park 10-year-old? Uh, and uh, maybe I'll get make myself a 12-year-old, do that review, 
and uh, compare it to this and see what the major differences are. But there are some for sure. Thanks again, guys. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to get any uh, merchandise from the store, check the link below. Hats, glasses, coins, uh, droppers, whatever you need. Um, check it out. Description down below. As always, have a good one, guys. Cheers.